Uh, as we get ready for the holidays, many of us, many of you, you're cooking for a big family, a lot of friends. Well, how about making some traditional dishes to celebrate the year? Joining us now is Omar or Omarcito Alejandro Cadena with Omarcito's Latin Cafe to cook up a little con gris. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Have, I need to tell you that con yeah. gris is one of my favorite things Mine in the too. whole wide world, okay? Always, always reminded me of my childhood. I mean, that was one of the things, especially, you look forward to it on the holidays. I mean, I look forward to it whenever, but the holidays were definitely oh, yeah. Thanksgiving yeah, and Christmas. Okay, yes. so you're going to teach us the yes. traditional Cuban way of making con gris, which I think they probably always have a little secret, right? I'm, I'm not going to say traditional because this is my way and it's the way, way that okay. I picked up from being, you know, with my family and such, but it's definitely right along the borderline because every family has its own way and everything. A little but, version, little yeah, twist yeah, you know, on I it. I mean, yeah. real simple. Start off, you put some olive oil, you get the pan going. We already got it going. And then you got some onion. And then we get a little garlic. Garlic is always so important. Yes, very, oh, very see, important. See, see. And then okay. green bell pepper. And everyone here can attest to the smell because the smell is amazing. And then what we're going to do right now is that we season it. And then how much should you be cutting that stuff up as you're making the sofrito? You know what? So basically with the garlic, we're going to go four cloves for a bag of black beans. And then with the onion, we do half an onion. For the green bell pepper, we're gonna do half a green bell pepper and we just basically quarter it and goes in there. Saute everything up. As soon as it becomes fragrant, you start adding all the spices, little oregano, little black pepper. We put some of our special La Criolla adobo in there, a little pinch of cumin, some salt, a little bay leaf, Look how some quick tomato you are. puree. And then we're gonna deglaze it with a little bit of uh, cooking wine. This is a very like how much cooking thing. wine should you be you putting know, in there? Cooking wine is a quarter of a cup. And then I also do a splash of vinegar, which that's a definitely a family thing. Why and vinegar? Then, you know, I think the acidity of the vinegar is gonna really kind of bind everything together and make it just kind of this robust and really kind of like umami thing. Uh, okay. For us, it's more sabor than umami, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it really just kind of brings it all together, I, I believe. And then you're going to basically add the water. You're going to bring that up to a boil. And after that comes up to a boil, you're going to come up to your next pot and you're going to add a little bit more garlic. You're going to add some onion. You're going to add some green bell pepper. And then we're going to add a little bit of red bell pepper on this side. Okay. And then after this is all boiled up, after about, you bring it up to a boil. Let it simmer for about two and a half hours. And then you're going to basically separate the beans and the water. So you should have. So it'll look kind of like, this a, is like bean a soup, water. like yes, a bean soup right. almost. And you okay. always want to add a little bit more water. So typically for a one pound bag of beans, you do about eight cups of water. For this one, I did about 10. So mm -hmm. I do 10 cups of water, and then I separate the beans, and I separate the, 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 liquid. the soup. Yeah. yeah. The, I was going to say caldo, but you know, the soup. Yeah, we, we understand yeah, you, right? caldo, OK. And then we're going to add the rice to, to the pot. And so now you're adding ri the rice without the water, just, yeah. just with the oil. You know, okay. I really believe that with the olive oil and the vegetables that are in there, you're going to give this an amazing flavor. You toast the rice up a little bit. Another thing is that some people wash the rice, some don't. I think if you don't wash the rice, it gets clumpy. I love clumpy rice, but if you mm -hmm. don't love clumpy rice, Give it a few washes. I don't think that one is wrong or one is right. It's just depending on your taste. I like to wash it because it gives it a little bit more of a looser grain. So after you stir the rice in there and you get it all going with the vegetables and the oil. And so let me ask you yeah, this. Yeah. How long should you be cooking it in here in the pot with the with You know, the oil? I honestly, it's just a couple minutes. You're basically coating all the granules of rice with the oil and the vegetables uh -huh. and the garlic. You know, you're not really doing a lot of seasoning at this end because the congri, the bean water is already seasoned very well because remember over here on this side we got the cumin we okay. got yeah you know the salt the oregano the bay leaf the tomato puree the Lots vinegar of stuff. The, yeah okay i mean being Latino is one of the most greatest things in this world. <laughs> I mean, it really is. If you think High about it, right here. we're at the crossroads right. of everyone. We've got, you know? I think, about a minute left. Yeah. So, right, so give look. us the last two things. You okay. add the water. Add the water without yep. the beans. Without the beans, you're going to cook this up, bring it up to a boil, lower the heat, put cover the lid it. on, you cover it up. Vaya, mira. Vaya, ponlo. Okay. Fuacata. Let so, it sit for and about... And that's, what, 30 minutes? No, no. 20 minutes 20 on minutes. very low heat. Mm -hmm. Once the 20 minutes are up, 
lift it, add the beans. I like adding pimentón. This was my grandmother's touch. Yeah, more, roasted yeah. pimentón. Mm -hmm. And actually, a little bit of the water should go in there, All too. right. Thank you very You're much. Very welcome. That Thank sounds you guys amazing. Omarcito's Latin Cafe is going to be opening up soon. Tell me the address, Omarcito. 3801 West Fullerton. There and you go. We're actually having a pop-up marketplace this Saturday. We're trying to get business going and attention okay. to us. So, yeah, thank you very much, guys. Come out, support. All right. Hit me up on my website. We're we doing catering, will... pop-ups, everything. <laughs> we will check it thank out. And we'll you. post the info on our page as yes, well, okay? Yes, absolutely. Web